All right, guys, welcome back. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna start talking to you about core animation, how to apply simple animations to objects on your screen. And eventually, whenever we make games, we're gonna be using animation a lot. Of course, you probably already knew that. But for right now, I just wanna teach you guys the basics of animation. And by animation, I just mean really simple stuff like rotating objects or, I don't know, like making them grow or just like moving them to a different point. So for right now, you know, since we don't have any like game characters or anything like that, I'm just going to add a button to the screen and show you guys a really simple animation on that just to show you guys the basics. So let's go ahead and hop over to the storyboard. And the first, by the way, all I did so far is I created a brand new single view application, um, you know, blank project, nothing new. And what I want to do here is uncheck use size classes. So we got something that resembles an iPhone. All right, looking good. So now let me go ahead and just add a simple button, type in butt, and drag that bad boy out to... Might as well just stick it in the dead center. Looks good. We can... It doesn't matter what text you have on it, actually. And now, of course, what we need to do is, if we're going to be adding code to animate this, we need to get a reference to it. So get rid of this panel temporarily. Go to your split view. And let me clean this up a little bit. Delete this comment. And you can actually delete this entire did receive memory warning method. We don't need that one at all. All right, so let me give myself some space above the view did load method. And if you hold down control, of course, drag, you're gonna make a little outlet. And I'll just name mine Bucky's button. Connect, and we now have a reference to this button. So let me open up my view controller since we don't need that storyboard anymore all right so here we go done setting everything up so now that we have a reference to it how do we animate this button well in your view did load method this is a pretty good place to put it what we need to do is we need to create something called an animation block and this is actually really easy what you do is you give it two settings one how long do you want the animation to be for example, if you're moving something on the screen from point A to point B, do you want it to be one second? Do you want it to be slow, like 10 seconds? Um, so that's the first thing, how long you want it to be. And second is the animation. And by that, I mean, do you want it to rotate? Do you want it to stretch? Do you want it to fade out? What are you trying to do here? So to create an animation block, let me add a comment like, create an animation block to fade out. So we'll just fade out this button right now. And there are a couple different parameters that you can add to this animation block. For example, um, you can say there's like different speeds of animation, different types. And again, animations can get pretty complex, but for right now, I'm just teaching you guys the basics. So, you know, I just wanted to warn you that there's more if you guys actually want to dive into it. So UI view, since Indeed, what we're doing is we're applying an animation to a view object, pretty much any object that the user can interact with or look at is a view object. And the animate with duration, right there, all right. So animate with duration is the method. And the first one, of course, is the duration. How many seconds? I'll just write three seconds. Now this animation's right here this is where you put or in other words build that animation so if you use curly brackets the most common way to do this is just to add curly brackets and write all of your animation um, functionality in here so all we're doing is just going to take one line of code we're going to say okay on this button bucky's button train oh, i was going to say trains trains change the alpha in other words the transparency so self in this class, Bucky's button, get the alpha, A-L-P-H-A, -A, which is the transparency, and set it equal to zero. So now what this is gonna do, and that's it, whenever we run it, it's gonna say, okay, I'm gonna take three seconds, and from whatever the button is now, whatever alpha, I'm gonna change it to zero, and that's it. So now if I run this, check it out. All right, so notice as soon as this loads, the button is at 
100% alpha, and it fades out over three seconds. I know it's kind of hard to tell since it happens as soon as we load. And that's another thing. If you're like, all right, I don't want that to happen as soon as my view loads, there's another delay that you can add. So I don't know, maybe it waits five seconds before the animation starts. But again, that's all in detail stuff. I'll talk about that in detail later on. So for now, if I just run that one more time, just so you guys can see, button fades out over three seconds. So now that we got the basics and we know how it's done, I'll show you guys what I mean by you can actually build multiple animations in here. So let's say that we wanted to do something like, we wanted to, I don't know, we won't fade it out anymore. We'll say that we wanted to grow this button and also rotate it. So you can actually just build constants in here. So whenever we want to combine transformations like this, we can actually use a new method, but it's really easy. But first we need to give it all the parameters. In other words, how much do you want to grow and what angle do you want to rotate it by? So we'll let grow equals CG affine transformation. And the two parameters this takes, we'll just say like four by four. That'll just mean grow to four times your normal size in both width and height. And again, these are just settings right now, just variables. We'll plug them into the main animation later. Next, we'll say let angle. Now the angle we need to give it has to be a CG float. And we'll just say 40. Pick any angle you want, it doesn't really matter. And if we say let rotate, this is the actual animation itself. So CG affine transform make rotation. And if we toss an angle right here, that'll be good. So right now we have two transformations built. One is right here, it's rotate, and this just spins it. And another one is transform, and this just grows it. And this one is just kind of a parameter to say how much do you wanna rotate it by. But we didn't apply them to the button. So whenever we wanna apply multiple transformations, to a single object, this is what we do. It's really simple, one line of code. Again, you get a reference to that object, the view object, and the transform property right here. Set this equal to CG affine transform, if you can see it, concat, where are you at, where are you at? Okay, A affine, right there, concat. So concat essentially means take uh, two things and stick them together. In other words, make them happen at once. So what do we want to stick together? Well, this grow, which enlarges it, and also rotate, which spins it. So going to right here, we're setting up the transformations. Right here, we're sticking them together and applying them to the object. So I have an error in here because what I actually need to call is transform make scale. And okay, messed up my parameters, so let's fix that. And we can delete these. Wow, do this the hard way. All right, so there we go. Now if I run this, check it out. So again, look at that. It grows it by four by four. In other words, um, enlarge it by four multitudes or four scale four scales in every direction and also 40 degrees you can see right here that's the ending of it and well that's it simple enough so now you know how to apply single animations and also if you ever have multiple animations that you want to apply to simple view objects well you can do that and in the next tutorial we're going to be jumping into more game related um development and coding it's gonna be pretty cool so well i'll shut up now and i'll see you guys in the next video